sew the basket weave stitch. You can either choose to do it with three stitches like this and so on, or you can do it with four. In this version, I will show you this way with three. So you need to chain up uh, a number that's multiple by three. I will chain up 12 because it's a sample piece and then I will add two chains to turn the work. So I will chain up 14 in total. If you are planning to do the basket weave stitch, I assume that you're not a beginner. So I already chained up and then I used the two extra stitches to turn the work and then I made a row of double crochet. So you go ahead and do this and then we will do the basket weave from now on. I will just begin because I already made my piece. So from now on each time we turn the work we chain one, only one. And then we turn. Then we are going to do double crochets but we are doing it in the front post of this crochet. So we yarn over, sorry, yarn over and grab your double crochet from the previous row in front. So a front post double crochet, do a double crochet. And in the next one, you do a double crochet in front as well. A front post double crochet. And again, a front post double crochet. That's it. Then we have three front post double crochet. Then for the next three, we do three back post double crochet. So we yarn over and grab the post behind the work. Pull up, yarn over, pull through two and yarn over, pull through two. Just like we usually do with the double crochet. And we grab it behind again. And do double crochet. And the last one, a back post double crochet. And you see now there's a row lying here to do the vertical stitches, uh, sorry, the horizontal stitch, and these are the vertical ones. So now we will do three of these front post double crochets again. So we yarn over and go to this next front post and do a double crochet. And again. And another front post double crochet. That's it. So we're actually already seeing a pattern forming. So now three back post double crochet in the last three stitches. So we yarn over and grab the one behind Pull up the work a little bit and do a double crochet in the back post. Yarn over, grab the one behind, do a double crochet in the back post and then the final one. Yarn over, grab 
the one behind. And do a double crochet. So now there's a horizontal line again. And we will now turn the work. Turn over, pull through, only one, and then turn. Then we need to do another row, it's exactly the same. So three front posts yet again. So we yarn over, grab the first one in front, grab the yarn, and do a double crochet in the front post. And another two. Front post double crochet. And front post double crochet. That's it. So now it's really stretches. And we have the first piece. Now we want to do another back post section. So you see these are lying on the back side and we need to grab those. So we yarn over, go behind and grab this back post double crochet into this one. And another two back post double crochet in the final two. The last one. That's it. So now we have two horizontal lines there. And we have this one going upwards. So we really see a, a pattern forming. So in these three, you do front post double crochet. And these three left, we do back posts in these. Then you chain one and turn the work. And now it should be looking like this. We have these horizontal lines right here and these vertical ones right here. We did two rows with the same. So now we will alternate and do the opposite. So instead of pulling these even further in front, we will now do back posts double crochet in these three and then begin doing horizontal lines up here. So you remember to chain one and turn the work. And we will now do three back post double crochet in these one. So we yarn over, go behind this first vertical stitch and do a back post double crochet in this one. And the next one we yarn over and grab this one behind the work, yarn over. It's a little bit tricky with these first stitches on the row, but you will get it. And this last one, yarn over and grab this one behind. and do a back post double crochet. So now you see we are pushing it behind and we are starting to do a horizontal line right here and beginning to do this pattern up here. So now we will do three front post double crochet in these ones. So we yarn over and grab this one and do a front post double crochet. And also in the next two stitches. Whoops. That's and the last one. So now we made three vertical stitches up here. And you see the difference? Guess what we are doing here? We are doing three back posts and then three front posts in these ones. 
So go ahead and do that. And we should be looking like this right now. Now you chain one and turn your work. So now we want to pull these even further back and these more in front. So we will do the same as we did before. Do three back post double crochet in these three and front post in these and back post in these. So for each row you do two of the same and then you switch and do the other two in the next one and you keep doing it all along as long as you want the work to be and you will have this basket weave stitch. So I hope you found the tutorial easy to follow. If you did please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see all my other stitches and crochet projects. But until next week, I hope to see you again.